Hey y'all, praise the Lord. Welcome back to the channel. Sweetness and I are heading out. Uh, it's day two or day three? three? Day three of our snowstorm here in Virginia. Uh, they claim we got a little more than 14 inches. Um, trees are down everywhere. Power is out in a lot of places. Most uh, secondary roads are just horrible. And uh, but we gotta run out uh, where we gotta go. The roads are uh, treated and cleaned and uh, you know safe to be on. But uh, a lot of our uh, friends and family down here, they live on secondary roads and they're just uh, stuck without power. And uh, um, it's a, a mess. Virginia isn't meant for this type of weather. Uh, when I look out, I think we're in Maine. That's what your brother said. <laughs> in July. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> even though to me it is still cold up there uh, year-round. But uh, anyway, so uh, hang out and enjoy the ride with us. See some of the areas that we're going to go through. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll still see some of the trees that are uh, been cut down. Uh, some of the trees that are still hanging low. And uh, who knows what we're going to see. But let's get you turned around so you can catch it. And sweetness is going to hold the camera for me. Word of God says in Job 37 verses 5 and 6, God thunders marvelously with his voice. He does great things which we cannot comprehend. For he says to the snow, fall on the earth. Likewise to the gentle rain and the heavy rain of his strength. Yeehaw! Here we go. And if you hear any screaming on this video, it was me. No, I'm just kidding. I'll try not to. No, it was me. <laughs> now, I did say that uh, in the last video with the Corvette, you know about if we got snow or anything like that um, then we would uh, be out in the Sorrento and we would probably take off the uh, traction control and go have some fun but uh, I don't think I could find any parking lots that are still covered uh, with snow to do that in so we'll just have to drive around uh, our roads here and uh, just show you what we got Oh my word. <laughs> and this is the first time Sweetness has been out in this. Uh, so I was out in it uh, on Monday and then again uh, yesterday uh, for work and then uh, picked up an extra shift uh, for tomorrow and then this weekend is my weekend to work. So we'll. Uh, Hopefully get better, but tomorrow night, Thursday night, they're claiming more is coming in. So anyways, let's sit back and enjoy the ride. Oh, this roundabout is awful. Is it rolling? No. If you hold the trigger in, it will stay where you want it to spin it. 
Oh, no, I don't want to spin it. I'm just holding it down here. It's just a little oh. hot in here. Yes, it is. It's hot in here. Let me turn your seat off. Is it still recording? Yeah. We're picking up all this fun conversation. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I got it nice and hot in here for sweetness. It's a little and, too hot. <laughs> and she says it's too hot. Whew. Now let me tell you a funny story, y'all. When Sweetness and I first met, mm -hmm little more than 31 years ago I was the guy that would wear a t-shirt and jogging shorts outside in the winter time because I was always hot and you see a tree down and busted up right there uh, but anyways and she would be bundled up we would travel from upstate New York where we were stationed in the army down here to Virginia and I would be in the t-shirt and shorts and she would be in her winter coat and a blanket on freezing and then over the years uh, I ended up being the one that was then cold and she was hot and now it's starting to revert back again so whoo The snow is beautiful and necessary. Just wish not so much of it. <laughs> <laughs> not so much of it. Ain't that the truth? I'm okay with it though. Because I get to stay in the house anyway. Yes. But this takes Corvette weather out. It takes motorcycle weather out. That house is uncovered. <laughs> uncovered? In the summer, all the trees up. You can't see there's a house there. Oh. <laughs> All right, hold on because the key is going to show what it got, which is a whole lot of nothing. Did this one? Woo! Oh, you're a mess. Feel that acceleration. Meemaw's excited to go get her grandbaby. Yeah, that's right. In the roundabout way, we're going to get the grandkids. Haven't seen them in, oh my goodness, since last week. Yeah, quite some time. Look, the American flag. Oh, say, <laughs> Now, you know what's funny down here is while out in all this working, it's been a 50 50 mix or roundabout that number of cars that are off the road in the ditches between little front wheel drive cars and 4x4 four four trucks. That's because somebody who's driving a 4x4 four four truck didn't know what they were doing or they were being not the smartest. I think it's more like the pride issue. Oh, I got a 4x4 four four, and they drive however they want and they don't realize yet just because you can get going better don't mean you stop better. True. Ice is they, ice. Ice is ice, yeah. So now for anybody up in the northern area, which is, uh, to me now, is from Stafford through Maine, uh, you're going to look at this snow and say, ah, psh, that was nothing. 
It was nothing. Yeah. They called, originally called for three to five inches. And then five to seven. They and then did five to it. seven. And then we got 14. Yep. And they didn't pre-treat the roads. Yeah. Did not pre-treat roads. So someone dropped a ball. A big ball. All right, gotta make a quick pit stop here at the store. We'll catch you in a bit. Did you get salt? Salt? What type of salt? For the road no. driveway and stuff. You think we'll be able to find that? There's no bread. There's no water. There's All right, that's no why I go to places like hot dogs. Dollar There's General no, and stuff like that. No, just no that. Because they have all of that. Yeah. Remember, and it's good. To Virginians, this 14 inches of snow is the end of the world. Yeah. Life will not continue as we know it. That's funny. But we got grandkids that's going to be at the house, so we need to make sure they got food to eat. Oh, we got a ton of food. Oh, that we do. And if they get hungry, they'll eat it. That they will, because me might be fixing it. That's right. I mean, when you're hungry, even Brussels sprouts are good. If you fix it right. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't have no Brussels sprouts. Yeah, but if we have Brussels sprouts, I could fix it with some bacon and True. seasoning, and you, it'll be really good. But our grandkids are the odd ones. I think they like Brussels sprouts. They like vegetables. <laughs> yeah, odd children. Uh, no, that mean I know how to cook. Oh, that is true. <laughs> I have put a lot of weight on since we've been married. <laughs> that only came after I really started learning how to cook. Uh, you could cook. It was how big my appetite was while in the army and working out. And then, and stopped. then, uh, <laughs> and then uh, I stopped working out but didn't stop eating. Finally put on the weight. It still took some years for any of that. That is true. Yep. Oh boy. Why, why, why would everything be red? And it's weird. Yeah, this road was pretty trash. It still is because they didn't even shovel it right. Uh, found it right. Yeah, no, That's what I trees. miss about oh New York. Man, they knew how to plow. Well, you got to remember, you know, that's the north. That's I, a way of life. I know, but still. Yeah. I mean, those July. roads and those pretty walls of snow. Yeah. <laughs> and that's on July 4th. Stop it. It was not. <laughs> serious there was one didn't you see it no i'm too busy looking around at everything it's beautiful even though it's also a mess right a mess. oh somebody tore up that mailbox yeah one of oh my clouds. Four by four pickup. Mm -hmm. And I just saw another uh, alert saying that all of Brock Road is closed. Oh, uh, yeah, we got that this morning. It yep. came in at four forty five this morning. Completely. Yep, due to more trees. 
That's why I'm shocked you driving the back roads with me in the car. Uh, remember, I've been out and about. I know how these roads have been. That's true. You want to go up Mass Clinics Church Road in the back way? Not really, but that's up to you. You think it's clear enough? No. Uh, no. So we can show people the trees down. Oh. Well, if you want to do that, you want to do that with the kids in the car? Let them see what a storm can do. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's why it tells you to be prepared. Bingo! Say that again. What? That's why they tell people to be prepared. Or you, we're taught to be prepared in and out of season. But you know, the funny thing For the word, it, but also for times such as this. Look at those trees and how much weight of the snow is on them. Yeah. But. Um, it's funny how you, you just said that about being prepared. And uh, because, whoops, <laughs> that's the soda fountain. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I was out there while I was cleaning up the rest of the driveway, thinking about that, about how many people was not prepared for this, even though they were told it was coming. <laughs> and if they couldn't be prepared for this in the natural, how are they going to be prepared for when that great deceiver is Comes here? Okay. Yep. And then we're supposed to fight against that and not be deceived, you know? People don't want to believe that. They just want to believe that the Bible is a fairy tale. And it's just, it's not true. It's just a bunch of stories. Until that time comes, then they're going to realize that their eyes are going to be open. But best believe every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Oh, absolutely. And so, you know, they're going to remember all these times and everybody tried to tell them and warn them. Yep. Because, you know, for years, pastor has always told us, first the natural, then the supernatural. You know, there's destruction on the way, you know, a, a storm, a spiritual storm and all that. And the, well, here's the natural. Yes. And people, even though they were warned, they were told how many people were not prepared for it. And just the weight of it is heavy and uh -huh. things are going to be broken, pruned. You know, you think of that in the spiritual as well. Yeah. So many people within, even within the church, that deception is going to be so heavy and stuff and overbearing, they're going to be broken. But I don't think they're going to be broken in a way, but they're going to break away from the, the truth. They're going yeah. to break away from the word. Well, yeah, I mean, the word says there's going to be a great, a great falling away. Yep, and so think about that, the falling of the branches. Yeah. And the branches as I am. And the branches and what they represent. Represent, you know? <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, I mean, that's so awesome. Yeah, absolutely right. I don't have a lot of eloquent words, but I know what these things mean. And I'll just say it in the simplest way. Right on. But I do love it when it snows, when you walk out after the fact, mm -hmm. and all the junk has been cleaned out of the air. The yeah. air and, and stuff has been purified. Yeah, it does seem cleaner, you're right. And you can just step outside and it's just something about after the snow falling. Yeah, yeah. The air is cleaner. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> the only thing is it's still too cold out. Yeah, that's why I stay in the house. <laughs> Uh, I used to love being out in it, but 
But then to we an grew extent. up. <laughs> well, figuratively. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever truly grown up, but. Okay, let's put it a different way. Then we had to start adulting. Oh, adulting stinks. <laughs> Sometimes. There's great benefits of adulting, but there's also a lot of the responsibilities. We couldn't wait to become adults. And, man, some parts of childhood I would like to go back to. Just the fun parts of it. You know? The, yeah. the, the under mama's, the snow days, but under that light at mama's. And then the daddy would go and throw water on it and it would freeze and we would pretend that we had a pond out there and be skating <laughs> in our regular tennis shoes, <laughs> boots, <laughs> snow boots and stuff. Yeah. But don't let me get on ice now because that ain't happening. Right. <laughs> but you know, we were so fearless. We were because we didn't know any better. <laughs> That's part of childlike faith. You were told just to go ahead and go do it, and you did it. You believed it. But that goes back to my whole thing about creating the memories with the children or the grandchildren, because, or I should say, good memories, because we're always creating memories with them, yeah. good or bad. I want them to go on the trampoline and get that snow and jump off it. Oh, well, oh, like, but the it's trampoline probably is, heavy. is sagging right now, so they do have to go clean that off. Yeah. When it was snowing and them jumping on it, it had been one thing, but not now because it's melted and then frozen and then melted again. Oh, you know, it was funny because uh, I was taking a break from cleaning up the driveway, and I went and leaned up against the uh, basketball hoop mm -hmm. and all the snow that was caught in the uh, <laughs> net. the net came <laughs> right down on top of my head <laughs> go down you know in the, on my back there it was cold mm -hmm. and all I could do is start laughing because I looked at it you know didn't think anything of it and then you know a little bit of time went by and I stopped and I leaned up against it and it all fell down mm -hmm. I saw it. I knew. I knew. I should, you know, not to hit it or anything. But I didn't think a little bit of movement. Wow. Hey, look at that little car. And oh, look at that four by four. Wow. Have you noticed we always take a ride in the snow? Every, well, well, we usually do it while it's snowing, but... <laughs> right, delivering cookies or something. Yeah, couldn't do that this year. Oh, there's another little car. want to go get that reflective uh, uh, vinyl and put it on the mailbox and stuff. But they're pretty good about that. Ours is far enough away. Yeah. Oh. Trees. Is that baby school? Yeah, there it is. All snow covered. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yep. 
because God That's is, an easy one. Because God is love and his love never fails. That's right. That was an easy one. I wish we had somewhere to take the babies to go sledding. Yeah, but we don't have any sleds. And we we did. One we have one saucer. No, we had more than that. Oh no, we all, oh no, that's for the, mm -mm. I don't know why, but my nerves are shot just a little bit. Because <laughs> that is you. <laughs> See, remember, there's no such thing as stop signs or traffic lights when it snows. I have watched more people run lights that work, red lights that are working, stop signs that are working, which means that they weren't covered with snow, but still, even if they were covered with snow, you drive these roads every day, you, you know that they oh are my. there. <laughs> See, people get me. Oh my goodness, hold on. Look at that. Oh my. Word. Yeah, you can see the tree in front of me. Yeah, I'm going to put it back in the window and close this up. On the power lines. Oh my. They haven't been out here yet? And you going to drive up under it. Well, that's the only way to do it. I wasn't going through the neighborhood. No, no, no. Don't worry about the, off the side. Yeah. A little bumpy. Just a little. Is that a Jeep? That's a Jeep. <laughs> See, a four by four. <laughs> Stuck. I guess he thought that was part of the road. <laughs> that was that prideful mentality. I'm in a Jeep. Yeah, there's still a ditch over there though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he found out. It's a Rubicon model. Shaking me up, shake me up, baby. Now, <laughs> twist the <and> shot. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. All these trees down. It's the weight of the winter. This is gonna be a sheet of ice tonight. Oh, absolutely, man! That's that's a long, a train. long train. Oh that my train is goodness! Still going. That's because they're trying to get all that freight. Those containers, you see them? Trying to get the supplies and necessities to where they need to go. Oh, oh my! Good. Three stacked high. No, oh, two. two. No, it's two, baby. It's only two and then the boxes. And then boxes, you, yeah. Yeah, and then you got the rail car. Hey, y'all. All right, so I'm back. The battery went dead, and so I just replaced it. Uh, but anyways, as you might have seen, um, 
in some of this video. The roads uh, look pretty good today, but there's still a lot of trees down, a lot of power out. And uh, so that really, um, well, stinks for a lot of people. Uh, but anyways, we're going to get through it, obviously. Uh, more snow coming, they say, tomorrow uh, evening or something like that. But uh, hey, what fun living in the south with snow. And as you can see here, let me get the camera spun around. That is the current condition of the vet. Poor thing is, poor thing is uh, loaded down with snow. But anyways, all right, just want to remind you to hit subscribe, hit the bell notification, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment, you know, all the normal stuff. But also, uh, just want to say we love you and we'll see you on the next one.